Si Papa Analyze namin yung listahan kasi marami na talagang members ang Acre. No? Ang nasa listahan namin. May nakakarating sa aming balita, like, uh, Saint, isang St. Paul. Sabi nila, hindi kami nakatanggap ng invitasyon dyan sa AMCM na yan. <coughs> Sabi ko, si Steph, member kayo. Paano ba mag-member? <laughs> so sabi ko, ganito na lang. Finalize namin yung listahan and then we'll send letters. Pero sa inyo, sister, best you write formally a letter to Father William Monsalud. As a bishop chair daw, sulat na lang kay Bishop Francis de Leon, ang Eche Chair. That, hindi pa, Bishop Francis pa hanggang ano, December. Bishop Bobe takes over January. Okay, yung ano pa rin to? Transition pa ngayon. Okay, si Bishop Francis. At sulat na kayo and then ibigay sa akin and then we'll send you a letter. Ngayon, kalakip doon ng membership, yung ano, membership juice. Paano nga? 2,000 per institution. Mura kaya? Dami hindi nagbabayad. Wala daw statement. Kung patitaraw ng statement, Mother, Mother is the treasurer of Amre. So, Mother will write a letter, 2,000 for the membership of, for Amre. Kasi association po ito. And this has its own SEC registered this is a registered acre. I would like to move nga later on. Isa sa lumalabas dyan na gusto kong ipasok is that our catechists, especially our RE in Catholic schools, should be a member of a professional organization. They don't. That is why I would like to set up another organization. And Dr. Pilar is the one who suggested that, which is Credo in Unum Deum. <laughs> Credo, Catechist and Religious Education Organization. Credo. Iba yan dito, ang ACRE for Catechetical Centers. Yung Credo, individual membership yan. Na magkakaroon ng regional at national para may assembly yan. At sasabihin nila, di ba sa Catholic schools, you know, a catechist and an RE should be, are you a member, that's an uh, accreditation, are you a member of a uh, professional organization? Do you contribute to the, di ba ganon? Do you attend seminars? Sa Catholic school, so mga katindi yun. Walang maisulat tao ang ating mga catechist, the professional organization which they belong. Ang, ang math, teachers meron. Social studies, meron. Reading, di ba? Reading Association of the Philippines, Rap. I think we, it's high time and I am requesting that APRE gives birth to this, which is credo. Okay? Sige na, merienda na. Kasi yung yukat. O, last is uh, Dr. Tess Talamera of Lasal Dasma. Oh, you know, problem with that one. Well, we do know that at present there exist um, certain um, organizations okay, that invite uh, religious educators. Uh, for example, that one of La Salle, also the one of Ateneo. What we want, uh, uh, I, we are. Please uh, don't misunderstand me. We don't want to cast aspersion on these organizations. What they, they are doing is good. But we want an organization that is not identified with any is it school. Okay? Because identification with a school might marginalize. You know, some, some people might feel marginal. You know, alam naman natin yun. So, we want an independent, one that is connected with an institution in the church, such as... FCE, ACRE, or CAP, 
no? so that it becomes attractive to all catechists and religious educators. And after the, the, the long-term plan is that it will be a CPE provider. Yung CPE provider po, like our teachers, it's a, may life licensia sila, no? Requirement for renewing license is that you must have attended CPE courses. So ang, ang vision po is for this organization to be a CPE provider, continuing professional education provider na accredited ng PRC para pag nag-present kayo ng license for renewal, hinihan kayo, do you have CPE courses? Yes, I do have. And this is provided by Credo. CP is Continuing Professional Education. Okay, so, I, I see the wisdom behind it. Kung hindi mga Credo, hanap tayo ang pangalan para hindi hindi connected sa isang brand. Ako nyo? Kung hindi, ano, uh, Rainbow College. <laughs> Rainbow. So, ano naman natin, archipelagic mentality. No? So, aanin uh, natin yun. Sige, pwede naman yung mga universities, pero sila, mga colleges, okay. Pero, I think on the edge level, we'll find, uh, we'll find another name for it, no? We will devise something. But definitely, we need to give CPE. Okay. CPE, Continuing Professional Education for our packages, both teaching in public schools or in private schools. And they pay membership dues. Yun ang hinahanap ko. Membership dues. <laughs> So, so, malito tayo doon, ha? So, pwede ba yung resolution? Parang yeah. alam ni-meeting na ngayon, eh. Yes. Hindi na para. Nag-meeting na tayo ngayon. Okay? Ngayon, second resolution ko, tatrabahoin namin ni Mother Jess to talk with Jen. At tungkol doon sa program ng Is it possible for us to set up our own licensure exam yes. under the provision of separation of church and state? <laughs> pasukan yun. Ang ano lang natin, i-offer na lang natin, reviewin na lang natin, na nag-offer tayo ng RETE. Yes. RETE. Kasi sa examination naman sa net, ay gen ed, di ba? First part. Second part, specialization. Tama? Yes. O yun na lang, huwag na tayo. That's another animal. That's a big problem. Oh, ano na lang natin yun? So, I suggest, i-focus lang natin ito. Reviewin lang natin ang ating curriculum based on the grades 11 and 12 challenges. But number two resolution from this body, we're going to set up a national association of catechists and religious educators. Pwede ba yun? At ang mga anak nun ay ang kakore. Fourth resolution, Eche Office will finalize the list of Eche member institutions who will pay the A membership due of 2,000 pesos. Payable.
that we have to be recognized not only by NCHE, but also by PRC. Ah, okay. Because it's for the licensure. PRC will come into the picture when we already apply as a CPE provider. Ah, okay. Good day. The first is mama at this committee, ha? Dito, ang ating kalakaran, kung sino yung mag-suggest sa sama-sama. Okay, kasi ako lang nag-iisip nun. Tapos si mother, kami lang nag-uusap. So, kami lamang. So, okay naman yun kasi Dr. Karim is faculty member of the NU. So, alam niya yun. Hindi ko rin alam niya yun. So, pasunan niya. Okay. Maganda yun kasi kung service provider, Maganda yun, accredited. So, any course that we have, pwedeng maipasa ng PRC for three units. Tama? That's what we did in CAAP. Okay. Very good. I'm happy with the developments now. So, lumalabas na tayo sa mode ng katikista lang. Tama? We are professionalizing all our candidates. Because they have every right to be recognized by church and society. Uh, yes, Mother Rhea. <laughs> huh? Venue for AMCM. Next AMCM. I suggest not Cebu because we will go to Cebu in January. So the next is either Luzon or Mindanao. Okay, ba yun? Who wants Luzon? Luzon. Luzon, okay. May nagsasabi, Vigan. Manawag. Managaraw. Ginawa natin sa Naga noon. Ginawa natin sa Naga noon. Apat ang speaker. Hindi lahat dumatay. Ako lang yung speaker. Brother Armin, Tati Niguanan, mga speaker. Hindi lahat dumating kasi may bagyo. Ako na iwan, sabi sa akin ng mga directors, ikaw na mag-talk. Nag-talk ako, three days. Sabi niya sa director, wala akong kadala-dala. Kaya nung susunod na taon, hindi ako nag-talk. Hindi ako nag-MC, nasa likod ako, contemplative life. So, gusto niyo ba sa naka? Ayaw ng naka eh. Ayaw. O, saan? Who wants Mindanao? Taas. Kasi kung sa Mindanao, the Mindanao Church is coming. Right now, we have very few Mindanao delegates. Mindanao. Taas ng kamay. So, ang suggestion ko ay Sambuanga. May dalawa lang. Sambuanga at Dabao. Sambuanga! 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 Sambuanga and then a day trip to Basilan. With a battalion of soldiers. Sambuanga! Maraming na Marines. So, hindi. Seryoso. Saan tayo? Sabi ko may picture na yan.
cepat sembuhan ke? Apa betul yang tadi saat ini yang disembuhan ke? Sama? Sama. Okey, si Father Karen, si Presiden itu. Okey, pak sembuhan ke? Yes. Okey, na? Yes, okey na. Yes, dah jadi kita yua. Kamu mesti arah ni, kamu bilang jadi macam jenis nanti tinggi ni tu. So, anong gusto nyo? Kung malayo na masyad lang sa buwang ka, sa inyo gusto? Ganyan! Ha? Ganyan! O, kung hindi pwede ang sa buwang ka, ang second bed nyo, ano? Tabaw! Kasi Tabaw was a big retreat house, eh. That's the... SMX. Charles Borromeo. SMX. Charles Borromeo. The presentation of Mary. Ah, that's a house, eh. Davao has good airport, and then you can have also what well, boat. You can have also whatever. You can reach Davao in many forms. Frutas, abusto is because of this for fruits. Okay, na. Kung hindi pa yung isang buwang ka, Davao. Okay, na. Man, August. Okay, na. Kasi yung September, kasi kaya kapal man, we're busy in our dioceses. Tama? August. Going. Sabi ni sister, you can go there in any form. Melbourne. Melbourne, Sydney. 